subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Cyclone Gombe is continuing intensification in the Mozambique channel as it heads generally towards Mozambique, looking at a significant, potentially devastating landfall there over the next day or so, as it's a Category 1 now, could potentially get to Category 3, and that's on the Sacra Simpson scale. Here's the current bulletin information from Matea France, 75 miles per hour, 1 minute winds, 100 kilometers per hour, 10 minute winds with a pressure of 983 millibars, moving west-southwest at 7 miles per hour or 11 kilometers per hour, and has a CDPS rating of stage 6, wind speed and rainfall, major, storm size significant, but the overall threat for this system is major. We're looking for the location around the city of Mozambique in Mozambique around tomorrow, maybe a bit uh, past exactly 24 hours, but generally tomorrow is when we're looking at landfall. Stage 6, of course, means that devastating damage is possible when this comes in. The current wind fields are quite small, which is why the size is significant uh, on the CDPS, but this could be a bad sign. Smaller storms tend to have the ability to intensify a bit quicker than a larger cyclone, so we definitely need to keep a very close eye, especially if you're on the coastline of Mozambique, where this is expected to make landfall, and even far inland. We could be seeing impacts well far inland, including some rainfall totals that may near 300 millimeters in some areas, and potentially we will not be done with this system after Mozambique. You can see the distances there in the Cyclone Warnings. Please visit that website at the bottom bar. That will have the latest information. It's a local agency from Mozambique. The current intensity estimates are fairly certain in a way. 65 to 75 miles per hour generally. Uh, MFR is at the highest end of that. Uh, estimates like ADT are at the lowest end. Here's their current forecast cone. We can see a significant landfall in play tomorrow. Uh, they're expecting, I believe, a 95 knot 10 minute winds uh, landfall. That's about 110 knots one minute. And that is very significant. That's a high end category 3 coming into land. And you can see, we may not be done with this after Mozambique. It could potentially intensify again after it tracks south back into the Mozambique channel, potentially threatening Madagascar once again. We hope that that does not happen, but that is a possibility. And we'll have to keep an eye on how that plays out. The sea surface temperatures on both ends of that forecast, going into Mozambique and coming out. Very warm, very favorable for intensification. We'll look at the exact numbers of how warm these sea surface temperatures are when we get to the RAM plots after the H Wharf runs. Speaking of the H Wharf runs, the H Wharf wants a very significant cyclone coming in. Uh, I believe the H Wharf is on the upper end, running a Category 4. We'll have to see if that happens. That is near the MFR forecast right now, but either way, significant rainfall, again up to maybe 300 millimeters in some areas, uh, possible, maybe some locally higher amounts. The plot looks like this. Some models, or actually all the models are calling for intensifications, most of them significant wind shear. Around 10 knots right now, not going to be too big of a deal for this system whatsoever. The sea surface temperatures, again, getting towards that 30 degree isotherm. Tracks are a bit uncertain right now. The GFS is really certain on that curve out. Uh, CTCX and H Wharf a bit more uncertain in the relative humidity. It's around 60 to 70 percent, not going to be an issue for the storm, it looks like. So here's the current satellite imagery. It's got a nice blow up of convection, at least in the latest frames, over that center. We'll have to keep a very, very close eye on that. See if that may be the beginning of a significant intensification trend. We hope not, but we have to be prepared for the worst, and we always hope for the best. So stay tuned to Mateo France and local agencies within Mozambique for the latest alert information and forecast information from this. And of course, as always, stay safe with this, and we'll have updates, graphics, and videos, and all that kind of stuff on our Twitter and YouTube pages. You can find us at 413 on both of those.